Will hit himself with a grinder today and he's cut three of his fingers. I would put a photo in, but I think it's a little bit too bad to show you guys. Not ideal. Good morning and welcome to another Cupid Cows Moving video. Now, in this video, we've trimmed a cow with a pretty bad front foot fracture. Let's see a head back and then let's go for this video. Let's go. We are about to show you an injury on the lateral claw on this guy's front hoof. And my question for you guys is which hoof or which two hooves do you think bear the most weight when these girls are walking? Are they back feet? Are they inside? Are they outside claws? Front feet? You let us know. Drop a comment. I want to know what do you guys think are the hooves that bear the most weight on these cows and why do you think they bear the most weight? So drop your comments and let's get into this trim. So if you look at this hoof right now, you can actually see we're removing a lot of horn. And what we're trying to do is remove all of this loose horn that's naturally shedding. You'll see the pith-like substance. It is literally pith. So all this right here is natural shedding. And if you want to learn way more about natural shedding and the trim method that goes with it, the balance method, head over to the Midwestern Hoof Trimmer and he will tell you everything you need to know about the issue. But now let's get on with blocking this hoof and let's block bond on an awesome wooden shoe. You can see there's a little bit of block pond on my crush. It sticks so well, I can't get it off. So yeah, it's just gonna be there indefinitely. I wonder how long it's gonna be until it removes or it leaves the crush for a video. Let's find out in the next few months, maybe, who knows. But right, let's get this hoof blocked. And let's carry on with this trim. There is a very clear and obvious damage to this white line and in this white line she's probably had a stone impact at some point and that has caused this damage right where I've put my knife now that is about where this impact would have started and I know that because that is as far down as this issue runs and normally when a cow has an infection like this it is tracked in and then the infection wants to track out of this hoof so it finds the weakest way to get out just tracks up this hoof and out it goes and that's how i know that's about where it started because it wouldn't track down it would only track up i wish you guys could feel how hard it is <laughs> We're gonna wrap this girl up with magic powder, which is gonna give this girl the best possible recovery. And fingers crossed, she's gonna be feeling much, much better in a few days time. 
Oh, I do love the smell of this stuff. Maybe put some of that on the finger. Well, yeah, I think you should. Find out if it hurts. I bet it would sting. Like I bet it would sting like absolute F. Let's not do that. White on. Yeah. It's more of like a bit of a white line, a bit of a fraction. How's it feeling now? Really good. I thought it would probably have stopped hurting by now, you know? Yeah. Not. You're going to be feeling that for days. Worse. <laughs> Out of an issue. Will hit himself with a grinder today and he's cut three of his fingers. I would put a photo in, but I think it's a little bit too bad to show you guys. Not ideal. That is her trim done. Thanks for watching. I'm sure you'll all agree she is hopefully feeling much, much better. Her original trim, now she's gone back to eat. Lie down, chill. That was an interesting look, but they've run out of water here, so the cows haven't been getting foot bath as much as usual. Seen a few bandages kicking about, but we'll go and talk about the water's bad. It's been pretty dry. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and we will see you all on the next video. Drop a comment down below, let me know what you thought. Don't forget to smash that subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video.